In today's video, I am going to give you some easy, simple basketball plays that can get you some easy, open three-point shots. The three-point shot is very, very important in today's game, so let's get our players some easy shots. Really quickly, if you want the easiest basketball offense and something that you can teach young players, check out my complete guide to the five-out basketball offense down in the description below. And if you like the idea of being able to have a digital clipboard, where you can draw up your plays and show your team, check out the link down in the description for this app. Okay, so the first play that I am going to be showing you is a very simple play called I Call Horns Pin Down. And basically what it's going to be is player four as well as player five, they are going to be setting pin down screens for players three and player two. Two and three are going to be popping off of these screens and obviously depending on what their players or their defenders are doing can dictate what they are going to do when it comes to their shots. So for example, let's say there is absolutely no switch and player two fights around and player three fights over. If, for example, player three fights over the screen, then player three blue should cut in towards the middle of the key. This could potentially give him an easy layup. However, if the player two or three or whoever, let's just say one of the players fights underneath the screen, then what needs to happen is player two needs to pop out for the three. However, there are angles that this player needs to be thinking about, and that is if he goes too high, player two is going to be able to block that shot or contest that shot very easily. What player two blue needs to do is to run towards the ball and then while catching the ball takes a few steps back. This is because now player two red will be underneath the screen still getting screened by this player and he needs to then close out on player two blue. Considering that this is a much easier angle than this for player two red to be able to close out on, popping a shot from back here is going to be the preferred angle. While this is a longer pass than this right here, this is a better option. You can also run this as a five out as well, where these players go down, set the pin downs, and same idea applies. If the man goes underneath, player two in this case would have to take the three, or at least look to take the three. If player three, for example, fights over, then player three blue needs to attack the paint. A fun play that I've liked to run in the past is still a five out play. However, we're gonna have a pin down screen for player five onto player three. Player four and two will head down down into the low post and the idea here is for player three he needs to be either popping for a three if player three red goes underneath the screen then player three needs to pop for that three-point shot however if player three is going over top of the screen that's exactly what we would like him to do because now player three is going to go through the elevator screen these guys are going to close on his defender and now this should be an open three-point shot. If instead what we have is player three who's going underneath, underneath that screen, so the player three blue needs to pop for that three-point shot early, now what we are going to do is have player two, he is going to be screening on this side, and player four is going to loop around. Again, he's going to need to get up into this free throw line extended area. A secondary option instead could be that now because player three went underneath the screen, player five, obviously, if this player is able to shoot a three, will be the one who goes through the elevator screen. Now you've got two options also to be able to run. So you could call this like an S play as an example and say S pin down, where you're getting that pin down and this guy's going through the elevator screen, and then the one where instead of player five using the elevator, player four uses the curl, well then you could call this S curl, where now we're still looking to have player three pop off and go through, but now it's that secondary option where if his man goes underneath, because you've called S curl, it's player four going instead of player five. This gets, this has got a little complicated, but I hope it makes sense. Another fun one to run is for player one to pass over to player three, and then after that pass, player one cuts to the basket. Obviously, if he's open, you can, you should always look up and look for that easier option of that layup. However, if he is not open, 
We're going to have player four and two set up. Player three is going to dribble up to the point, and then player one is going to be going through the elevator screen for that three-point shot. You'll notice that the elevator screen is used a lot when it comes to three-point shooting, and it does make life a lot easier, and you can also run this as an inbounds play too. So as an example, we could have player two run through that elevator screen, and he may be open for a three-point shot. Meanwhile, we would have player five pop up to the point. He would be the relief. So if player two is not open, player five should be open. Let's say we went with the second option. Now we are going to reuse this same exact elevator screen. Player one is going to step inbounds. Player two uses that elevator screen once again. If he's open, hit him up for the three. If he is not open, he is going to clear out. He could even clear out to the opposite side as well. And then it's going to be player one using that elevator screen once again. He would be the second option for the three. Now, you can run this on the baseline as well. Player two goes through the elevator screen. He's going to be the first option that we look at. And then player five is going to be posting up his man. He's going to be the second option. And then our relief is going to be player four for the long pass over. I hope that these plays help your team win more games and hit more threes. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense down in the description below. And I'll see you guys again in my next video.